Number 26. Convert the values of KC to values of KP, or the values of KP to value of KC. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have a balanced equation, which maybe I'll just write out first. So we have Cl2, that's a gas, plus Br2, that's also a gas, and this comes to equilibrium with 2BrCl gas. Okay, so in this case, they gave us a Kc, so it looks like we just have to convert a Kc to a Kp. So I have a Kc value, and all I got to do is just convert that into Kp. All right, well, how do I do that? Well, there's one formula that you guys should know in which has both Kc and Kp values in it in one shot. That's this formula right here. So this is the formula that we're going to be using. I'm going to put it over here. We're going to mark it up, and then we'll do the math over here. So let's start with what we're given, right? We have the Kc value, so I know what this is, 4.7 times 10 to the negative 2. We're trying to solve for Kp, so I'll just leave it like this, right? But now I should know what Rt and the delta N gas is. Let's start with R. R is a constant value, right? And since we're using pressures or we're talking about pressure, P stands for pressure in Kp and we're using gases, we have to use the gas constant, which is 0.0821. We will not be using the 8.314 because that's only used with energy values. Here we're not talking about energy at all, so we don't use it. Capital T stands for temperature, but in order to use it in this formula, it's got to be in Kelvin. But here, they gave me 25 degrees Celsius, so I have to convert Celsius into Kelvin. How do I do that? Oh, plus 273, right? That's the conversion. So 25 plus 273 is 298. Standard room temp. So we got 298 here. Now here comes something new, delta N gas. I kind of wrote down what the delta N was, okay? Remember, delta, which we've seen in delta T values in chapter 5, the thermochemistry chapter, um, is just, you know, a change, right? In this case, the change is products minus reactants. N stands for moles. So I have to find out how many moles of gas of the product I have, got to find out how many moles of gas of the reactant I have, and then I just subtract the two. So we come back up to the balanced equation. The first thing is take note as to what states you have. But all of these are gases, so all of them are going to count. Now I just have to find out the moles. But that's pretty easy. Just look at the coefficients. Let's start with the product side. There was two moles of product, right, because there was a two coefficient here. That was the only product. So I have two total moles on my product side. Now let's do the same thing for the reactant side. Well, I didn't see a number in front of Cl2. That means one. I have one mole. And the same thing for the bromine. But that means I have one as well. So one, there's literally a plus sign here, plus one, I have a total of two moles on my product side, on my reactant side, sorry. So when I do this formula, products minus reactant, the product was two, two minus two is zero. So the number here that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna raise it all to the zero power. And now let's just plug everything in. Kp equals that Kc value, which was the 4.7 times 10, to the negative second, close that up. Now we're going to do R times T, 0 0.0821 times the 298. Close that up, and that's raised to the zero. But now notice here, guys, any time that you have something raised to the zero, it's always equal to one. I don't care whether it's four raised to the zero, that's equal to one. I don't care if it's four million, trillion, bajillion raised to the zero. That is equal to 1. So, And I don't even care if it's a really, really small number. So this times this would be one number, but it's raised to the 0, so it equals to 1. So I can just cancel this out. Right? Anything times 1 is itself. And now I just have this. 
kp is equal to this number, in which kp is equal to the kc value. And we've seen that a couple of times um, in previous questions, kp will equal kc when you have the same number of moles on both the reactant and the product side. So that's it. So the kp would actually equal the same number, 4.7 times 10 to the negative 2, and box it off, and we're done. Pretty simple. What'd you think, guys? Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help the channel out. Thank you so much for that. And I will all see you in future lessons. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And have an awesome day. Okay, bye-bye.